Nada me usa se fa. We are united to worship him and speak of his greatness. To make melody before his presence. To sing unto him for who he is. Even if he has not answered your prayer. He remains God our God. He doesn't change. He doesn't change children of God. That's why 
ndi sababu we bring our hearts to him tuleta mioyo yetu kwake i want to request you nataka niwaombe to be seated I want to do some introduction. Na nataka nifanye utambulizi. Wash appreciate your worship to be a wonderful. Thank you so much. Shukuru wapendwa hawa mliwakupendeza. Thank you can be seated and Santi join me as I share the word of the Lord with you. I want to talk to you a little bit just an introduction about serving God with a perfect heart. Nataka ninene pamoja nanyi kidogo tu kwa njia utambulizi jinsi ya kumtumikia Mungu My key scripture will come from the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 28 Somo langu kuu litatoka katika kitabu cha mambo ya kati sura ya 8 And I want to welcome my viewers Na nataka nikaribishe watazamaji wangu Many of you who are watching us Wengi wenu ambao mnatutazama please like it Tafadhali ipende hiyo and uh, those who are on facebook live stream like it na wale pia mlio katika facebook ipende pia and some of you are right in the hospital we we are with you where you are na baadhi yenu mko hospitalini tuko pamoja nanyi pale pale some of you are right at home baadhi yenu mko nyumbani we are praying for you tunaomba kwenu king jesus faith church kanisa hili la mfalme yesu bungoma town church kanisa la mji wa bungoma in the heart of bungoma ambalo liko katika moyo wa bungoma was positioned for you niliwekwa hapa kwa ajili yako so that we can minister and over service to you ili tupate kukuhudumia wewe and i believe na ninaamini by sharing this word with you kwa kushiriki neno hili nani it will be a blessing itakuwa baraka don't allow anything to distract you usiruhusu kitu chochote kikuzuie pay close attention hebu kuwa na makini to what god is saying to your heart kwa kila ambacho mungu ananenea moyo wako in my sharing katika kushiriki kwangu I'm doing this introduction natoa utambulizi huu because we are going to look at motives and attitudes in serving our god tunaenda kuangalia nia na dhamira za kumtumikia mungu thank you so much brethren wapendwa even if we are called to serve him hata kama tumeitwa kumtumikia yeye the determining factor kitu kinachoamua is our hearts ni hali ya mioyo yetu the state of your heart hali ya moyo wako matters a lot inajalisha sana and that's why na ndipo sa, ndipo sababu i'm prompted nimechochewa to share with you kushiriki nanyi and communicate the word of god with you na niliwasilisha neno la mungu kwenu that will help you ambalo litakusaidia maybe to do some corrections pengine ufanye marekebisho maybe to ask god to help you pengine umuulize mungu akusaidie and deal with your, with your heart na ushughulikie moyo wako please look at these scriptures tafadhali angalia maandiko haya the book of chronicles first chronicles kitabu cha mambo nyakati ya kwanza repeat again mambo ya nyakati ya kwanza chapter 28 sura ya 28 verses 9 mstari wa 9 serving god with a perfect heart kumtumikia Mungu na moyo ulio thabiti au msafi Let's look at those scriptures already on the screen and um, we can read but I like my Bible so I will just keep my eyes down here as I read the Bible with you allow me to read it verses 9 and I read And thou Solomon my son know thou the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind for the lord searches all hearts and understands all the imaginations of the thoughts if thou seek him he will be found of thee but if you forsake him he will cast you off forever what a scripture nawe sulemani mwanangu mjue mungu wa baba yako good keep moving ukamtumikie kwa moyo mkamilifu na kwa nia ya kumkubali kwa kuwa bwana hutafuta tafuta mioyo yote na kuyatambua mawazo yote ya fikra ukimtafuta 
atapatikana ukimwacha atakutupa milele what a scripture i don't know whether you have ever read and passed across that scripture sijui kama tumeshawahi kusoma na kupitia andiko hilo this word is communicating a lot to our hearts neno hili linawasilisha mambo mengi kwa mioyo yetu maybe you are visiting for the first time in this church pengine unatutembelea kwa mara ya kwanza katika kanisa hili we build our faith on the word sisi tunajenga imani yetu katika neno god speaks to us through his word Mungu anatunenea kupitia kwa neno lake. And he's saying something to you this morning. Na anakuambia kitu asubuhi hii. Let me back up and share this story with you. Wacha nirudi niseme ni, ni hadithi hii nanyi. Children of God. Watoto wa Mungu. God raised David from being a herdsman. Mungu alimuinua Daudi kutoka kuwa mchunga mifugo. He was keeping Uh, the sheep of his father alikuwa anachunga kondoo wa baba yake and god raised him na mungu akamuinua and positioned him to be the king of israel na akamweka katika nafasi kuwa mfalme wa israeli in his tender age katika miaka yake ya uchanga david sought god daudi alimtafuta mungu he was so zealous for the things of god alikuwa na wivu kwa vitu vya mungu david also became a singer Daudi pia alifanyika kuwa mwimbaji David became a worshiper yeye alikuwa mwabuduo most of his songs nyimbo zake nyingi were made zilifanyika some were made while he was keeping the sheep Zingine alizipata wakati alipokuwa anachunga kondoo. For example Psalm 23 Kwa mfano Zaburi 23 That song came about when he was um overseeing his father's sheep. Wimbo hiyo ilikuja wakati alikuwa anachunga kondoo wa baba yake. Some songs came when he was passing through a very difficult time of his life. Nyimbo zingine zilikuja wakati alikuwa anapitia mapito magumu katika maisha yake. And David never ceased to worship God with his heart. Na Daudi hakukoma kumwabudu Mungu kutoka kwa moyo wake. When he was aging, alipokuwa anaelekea kuzeeka, David developed a passion to do something for God. Daudu Daudi alikuza shauku ya kumtumikia Mungu. He wanted to build a house for God. Alitaka kumjengea Mungu nyumba. He watched his predecessor. Yeye aliangalia watangulizi wake. The leadership they had, wa uongozi waliokuwa nao, he knew that they were not pleasing God. Alijua kwamba haikumpendeza Mungu. Obviously you understand that that was King Saul. Alikuwa mfalme Sauli. King Saul the first king of Israel. Mfalme Sauli mfalme wa kwanza wa Israeli. His leadership was questionable. Uongozi wake ulikuwa na maswali. When you start the book of Samuel, unaposoma kitabu cha Samueli, his characteristics is well explained. Tabia zake zimeelezewa vizuri sana. God rejected him. Mungu alimkataa. Why? Kwa nini? He became rebellious. Yeye alifanyika mwasi. His heart was contrary. Moyo wake ulitoka kwa Mungu. And some of you who went through walk through the bible na baadhi yenu ambao mmetembea kwa biblia we always make an exercise huwa tunafanya mazoezi and we say david na tunasema daudi with a whole heart na moyo wote but saul lakini sauli advised hard moyo uliogawika these two leaders viongozi hao wawili one has a heart for god mmoja ana moyo kumuelekea mungu the first one wa kwanza was had no heart for God. Hakuwa na moyo kwa ajili ya Mungu. And God bear witness about David. Na Mungu anashuhudia juu ya Daudi. He said, anasema, He is a man after my heart. Yeye ni, ni mtu anayetafuta moyo wangu. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Can you hold that scripture and go to the book of Acts and look at what God said about David? Je unaweza kushikilia andiko hilo uende katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume uone ni kitu gani Mungu alinena juu ya Daudi Anasema Daudi Yeye ni mtu aliye na moyo kumuelekea Mungu Na tunataka tuangalie hiyo 
21 he says afterward they desired a king and God gave unto them Saul the son of Seas a man of the tribe of Benjamin by the space of 40 years and then verses 22 and when he had removed him removed who? Saul he raised up them David to be their king to whom also he gave testimony and said I have found David the son of Jesse a man after mine own heart which shall fulfill all my will please verses 22 only Ustari wa 22 na alipokwisha kumuondoa huyo akamuinua Daudi awe mfalme wao ambaye alimshuhudia akisema nimemuona nimemuona Daudi mwana wa Yese mtu anaye upendeza moyo wangu Now these are two characteristics children of God Hizi ni tabia mbili watoto wa Mungu We look at King Saul Tunamwangalia mfalme Sauli He was given an opportunity to serve God Alipewa fursa kumtumikia Mungu By serving God's people Kwa kutumikia watu wa Mungu Also Saul was picked from uh, looking for his father's donkey Pia Sauli aliweza kuchukuliwa kutoka kwa kutafuta punda wa baba yake And Benjamin God raised him up Benjamin Mungu alimuinua and positioned him in leadership. Na akamweka katika nafasi ya uongozi. But Saul missed it. Lakini Sauli alikosa. Why? Kwa nini? He was after pleasing people. Yeye alitaka kupendeza watu. We will look into that later on but I will not go into that details but men and women of God. Tutaangalia hiyo baadaye lakini hatuendi kuangalia hiyo lakini wanaume na wanawake wa Mungu. His heart was not for God. Moyo wake haukuwa wa Mungu. His heart was to win people. Moyo wake ulikuwa ni kupata watu. What people will say about him? Je, watu wangesema nini kumuhusu? How he could impress people? Jinsi angependeza watu? He was after the praises of men. Yeye alitaka sifa za watu. Do you remember? Je, mnakumbuka? The moment David killed the Goliath. Punda tu Daudi alipomuua Goliath. The mistake women did. Now you women listen carefully. Kosa ambalo wanawake walifanya. Enyi wanawake sikiza kwa makini. Listen to me. Nisikize. One of them was a soloist. Mmoja wao alikuwa ni mwimba solo. And she raised a song. Na akainua wimbo. And she said na akasema David Daudi Saul has killed thousands a thousand Sauli ameua elfu but David has killed thousands and thousands lakini Daudi ameua maelfu na maelfu that song wimbo huo was captured by the women of Israel ulishikwa na wanawake wa Israeli and they began to sing na wakaanza kuimba they thought walifikiria their leader will be impressed kiongozi wao atapendezwa that was Saul ambaye ni Sauli because David had brought victory in the camp kwa sababu Daudi alikuwa ameleta ushindi kwenye kampi everybody was happy kila mmoja alikuwa na furaha the giant is removed jitu ameuawa the up, the obstacle is gone kikwazo kimetolewa people are celebrating for victory watu wanasheherekea the armies are happy jeshi limefurahi goliath is not existing anymore goliath hayuko tena women are singing wanawake wanaimba but Saul lakini sauli was down true his heart was broken moyo wake ulivunjika he was unhappy ye hakuwa na furaha something went wrong in his heart kuna kitu kilichoharibika katika moyo wake jealousy wivu inside his heart wivu ndani ya moyo wake brothers jealousy can kill you dugu wivu waweza kukumaliza jealousy cannot allow you to celebrate other people's success wivu hautakuruhusu usherekee ushindi wa watu wengine no la hasha That's why. Dio sababu. I have to speak boldly to our African leaders. Lazima niongee kwa ujasiri kwa viongozi wetu wa Kiafrika. We feel good when we step on others and rise up. Tunahisi vizuri wanapokanyaga juu ya watu na kuinuka. We feel good. Tunahisi vizuri. 
that attitude is wrong hiyo nia ni mbaya and i request you for your prayers na ninaomba maombi yenu because that's not my passion kwa sababu hiyo sio shauku yangu i desire to raise even more leaders who can do better than me shauku yangu ni kwamba ninue viongozi wengi ambao watafanya bora kuniliko i have seen some of them nimeona baadhi yao but men are still out there lakini wengine wako kule nje i need to bring them and raise them up je utawaleta na uwainue Saul's heart. Kwa hivyo moyo wa Sauli was a heart of jealousy. Ulikuwa ni moyo wa wivu. Children of God I said I'll do an introduction and we'll continue. Watoto wa Mungu nilisema nitaleta utangulizi alafu tutaendelea. We are looking at attitudes. Sisi tunaangalia nia. How people respond to the services of our God. Jinsi watu wanavyoitikia ibada kwa Mungu wetu. We are looking at the motives. Tunaangalia dhamira. Saul, Sauli never celebrated the victory of this young man who was rising up. Hakusherekea ushindi wa kijana huyu ambaye alikuwa anamkuza. When these women were singing, wakati wanawake hao walikuwa wanaimba, he was so jealous. She alijawa na wivu. We see right inside eating him up tunaona kiburi kikimkula inside there was that voice saying ndani mwake kulikuwa na ile sauti ilikuwa inasema i wish all these praises are loaded on me laiti sifa zote hizi zingewekwa kwangu we become so selfish when we don't celebrate others tunafanyika wabinafsi tusiposherekea wengine wachoyo tell them tunafanyika wachoyo na wabinafsi tusiposherekea wengine your heart is crushed when you see the success of others moyo wako unasiagwa wakati ambapo unaona ufanisi wa wengine wrong attitude the mere mbaya wrong motives nia mbaya made soul to be rejected hii ilisababisha sauli akataliwe that's why ndio sababu some people baadhi ya watu hang on leadership wananinginia kwa uongozi even if they are aging hata kama miaka imekwenda but they still want to hang on because they don't see others lakini wanataka waninginie ni kwa sababu hawaoni wengine children of god watoto wa mungu all of us sisi sote parents wazazi all of us sisi sote leaders viongozi our motive must be right lazima dhamira yetu na nia zetu ziwe sawa our motive should promote others dhamira yetu lazima iwe ya kuinua wengine to hold others in our arms tuwashikilie wengine mikononi mwetu and say you can make it na tusiwaambie mnaweza If you are doing some correction kama unafanya marekebisho it is not criticism sio kukosoa that's why in leadership ndio sababu katika uongozi the wrong attitude will say ni ambaye itasema i knew it nilijua he can't do it yeye hawezi he can't make it yeye hawezi he is nothing yeye ni bure i am a person on show mimi ni mtu ambaye anaonekana People should praise me. Watu lazima wanisifu. Put a smile when people celebrate you. Unaweka tabasamu wakati watu wanakusherekea. Children of God. Watoto wa Mungu. Today, leo, we are here to double check our hearts. Tuko hapa kuangalia tena mioyo yetu. Every service we render Kila on this planet earth, tun- tunaotoa katika sayari hii must be double checked. Lazima ichunguzwe tena. Because it's coming from the heart. Kwa sababu inatoka kwenye moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Whether a song is coming from the heart. Iwe ni wimbo unaotoka kwenye moyo. Whether preaching like me here is coming it must come from the heart. Iwe ni mahubiri kama mimi sasa lazima itoke kwa moyo. What's the motive behind my preaching? Je dhamira nyuma ya kile nakihubiri ni ipi am i preaching so that you can praise me je ninahubiri ili munisifu oh no 
Ah uh ah. -uh. I don't want it. Stuck hiyo. Friends. Marafiki. It is true. Ni kweli. Sometimes people will not like what we tell others. Wakati watu wengine hawapendi tunachowaambia wengine. But a man after God's heart. Lakini mtu moyo wake unayemwelekea Mungu will do God's will. Atafanya mapenzi ya Mungu. Allow me now to give you the definition of the word perfect heart. A heart at peace. Moyo ulio na amani with God na Mungu. It's coming from the word sholem. Inatoka kwa neno sholem. You understand the word shalom means peace. Mnafahamu neno shalom inamaanisha amani. But sholem means peaceful. Lakini sholem inamaanisha kuwa na amani. Perfect heart means complete. Moyo mkamilifu unamaanisha kamili. Undivided. Kisicho gawika. Undivided. Kutogawi, kutogawa, kutogawika. Uh, kutokuwa kuwili. Kutokuwa kuwili. Good. So naona hata pia Kiswahili na jaribu. Perfect heart also means committed. Moyo mkamilifu pia inamaanisha kujitoa. Committed, kujitolea. Perfect heart means loyalty. Moyo mkamilifu inamaanisha kunyenyekea chini ya mtu. You got it? Maipata for that purpose wa kusudi hilo i will continue nitaendelea but i want to encourage lakini nataka nikuhimize as we look into these aspects of our hearts tunapoangalia katika hali hizi za moyo wetu the holy spirit is here to help us roho mtakatifu itambidi atusaidie so that we may serve God ili umtumikie Mungu with a complete heart na moyo mkamilifu peace with him uwe na amani pamoja naye loyal to our God tupate kuwa watiifu kwa Mungu wetu committed to his cause tujitoe kwa mwito wake will you do that je utafanya vile I want to pray for our viewers. Nataka kuombea watazamaji wetu. My dear viewers. Watazamaji wetu wapendwa. Wherever you are. Popote ulipo. I'm praying for you. Nina kuombea. No matter what you are going through. Haijalishi unapitia nini. We serve God who is faithful. Tunamtumikia Mungu ambaye ni mwaminifu. May God meet you at the point of your need. Hebu Mungu akutane nawe katika maeneo ya mahitaji yako. God lift you from that pain and from that disease hebu akuinue kutoka kwa uchungu na ugonjwa huu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu i rebuke that demonic attack over you inakemea mashambulishi hayo ya shetani juu yako you man of god ewe mtu wa mungu you are discouraged umeshushwa i'm praying for you inakuombea rise up because god is strengthening your faith inuka kwa sababu mungu anatia nguvu imani yako Usikate tamaa. God is giving you grace. Mungu anakupa neema. The word of God says. Neno la Mungu lasema. Rejoice not O my enemy. Msisherekee maadui zangu. Though I fall I rise up again. Ingawaje ninaanguka nitainuka tena. You rise up again child. Inuka of God. tena mwana wa Mungu. Never give up. Usikate tamaa. Thank you Father God. Asante baba Mungu. I thank you for this church. Nakushukuru kwa ajili ya kanisa hili. Thank you for the ministers of this church. Asante kwa ajili ya huduma kanisa hili. Thank you for the pastors. Asante kwa ajili ya wachungaji. Thank you for Christian workers. Asante kwa ajili ya watendakazi wa Kristo. Thank you for our youth. Asante kwa vijana wetu. Our women leaders. Viongozi wa wanawake wetu. All the mamas of this church. Mama wote wa kanisa hili. I'm praying for them oh God. Nawaombea e Mungu. Lord you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all what we think or ask according to the power that worketh in and through us oh god let it be done 
for your glory. In Jesus name we pray. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hand together and bless the name Amen. of Jesus.